Hi, it's Alejandro for the Euro Viewers. And in this video, we're going to explore on how to create three-dimensional ambisonics ambiences using DaVinci Resolve Studio, our AB encoder, and our AB decoder. Now, the cool thing about creating ambiences in ambisonics is that you can create from the scratch a three-dimensional world around the listener, and then this can be decoded to any speaker layout configuration you might need in the future. So it doesn't matter if you're going to use Stereo 5.1 or Adobe Atmos 714 configuration, your ambience is just created once and everything is placed around the listener and everything can be later decoded. So let's just start by creating tracks for our recordings. It doesn't matter if our recording comes in stereo in 5.1 or in 7.1.2, we're always going to create a Dolby Atmos 7.1.2 for all our recordings. So I'm going to create one recording. I'm going to call it Quadraphonic. And I'm going to insert my Quadraphonic recording. Secondly, I'm going to insert another recording, which is going to be a 5.1 recording. Again, I'm going to create a Dolby Atmos 712 track. And I'm going to drag my recording there, which is this one. I'm going to later add a stereo recording, which again is going to go to a Dolby Atmos track. And finally, I'm going to add another stereo recording, which again is going to go as a Dolby Atmos 712 track. Now, I could start working on my projects just as it is, but because I imagine that your project is going to contain many, many more tracks, I'm just going to group these four tracks into one bus, which is going to be called Atmosphere. And that way, I can just create my mix in my Atmosphere, and then I can control my Atmosphere with just one fader, just to make things a little bit more streamlined. So for doing that, I'm going to create a new bus. Which, again, is going to be a 712 bus. And I'm going to call this bus Atmosphere. Let me just change the color of the bus, just to keep things a little bit organized. And so if you look at the mixer, you can see that you have your Atmosphere bus and then your main bus. Now, my tracks, they're all going to go to my Atmosphere bus. and my Atmosphere bus is going to go to my bus. Now, nothing has been converted yet. So what I'm going to do is going to encode everything into Ambisonics. So for converting my Quadraphonic to Ambisonics, all I have to do is insert my AB encoder plugin. And because the file that I imported for this track is Quadraphonic, I'm just going to set the input to Quadraphonic. I'm going to do the same with my second track. My second track contained a 5.1 file, so I'm just going to set the input to surround 5.1. And my next two tracks contain stereo material, so I'm just going to add the encoder and leave it in stereo. So now everything has been converted to Ambisonics, but it doesn't sound right yet because it has to be decoded into 712. So for doing that, I could insert a decoder in each of my tracks, but because everything is going to one bus, I'm just going to insert my decoder in the bus. So now what I'm doing is converting all my four tracks into Ambisonics, and then all this Ambisonics information is going to my bus, and then it is the bus that is converting my Ambisonics into whatever my need is, in this case, 712. So now let's just start by listening what we have here. Let's just go to the Stereo River and see how it sounds. So if I open my encoder, you can see that. Now this recording is quite directional and the cool thing about AB encoder is that now I can place this river anywhere around my head by using this path. So if I press play, you 
you can see that it can be easily panned all around the listener's head. So let's just say that I want my river to be on the bottom left of the listener. So I'll just have to place it there. Now let's just go to our quadraphonic recording. This is our core recording. It's a mountain with no wind. So of course, because it's like the main atmosphere, it has to be at ear level. So it sounds like this. You can see that even though this is a quadraphonic recording, which is like front left, front right, rear left, and rear right, AB Encoder is just grabbing all these channels and putting them in a three-dimensional field. So when you use the visualizer to see how this is behaving, you see that it goes all around the listener. So I'm just gonna leave this um, to be just as it is because I want it to be my core. Now I have another recording, which is a 5.1 recording of birds. Okay, so this recording is in 5.1. Again, it's been um, encoded to ambisonic so that it becomes spheric. But because I'm using a Dolby Atmos setup and I really want the birds to be like as realistic as possible, well, birds are above the head of the listener. So I'm just going to raise this recording so that it comes uh, from my height channels and it just becomes way more real. And also I'm going to increase the distance so that, you know, it's more attenuated. So when I combine these three, Now I have created a beautiful three-dimensional world in which I have the mountain at ear level, my birds are coming from above, and the river is on the left side of the listener. Now in Dolby Atmos, there is no below ear level, um, but this translates psychoacoustically, and this is why nonetheless, I just put it below. Now let's just go to our last track, which will be more birds. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is a stereo recording of birds. Let's see how we could place them. Of course, we're gonna place them above our ear level. And now let's just give a little bit of motion to this recording. And let's just say that I want to move these birds so that they just like move above the listener. All I will have to do is just enable my automations. I'm just gonna set them in latch and I'm going to enable the plugins. And let's just solo this to listen to our changes. And now if I press play and move this pad um, as the sound plays. Okay, let's just leave it there. Now, if I go back and I press play. I can feel these birds going all around my head. Now, if I press play with everything enabled. I have now created a 100% three-dimensional ambience in Ambisonics. And this is how we work with DaVinci Resolve. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to leave the comment below. Thanks for watching.